Hey YouTube, hey subscribers, thanks for tuning in. People take narcissism entirely too lightly. People think narcissism is a situation where someone spends too much time in the mirror or they are very self-absorbed and post a thousand selfies a day of themselves. People think that's what narcissism is. And while that's a part of it and a small piece of it, I would say that's probably only just the beginning. Narcissism goes very deep, it's very layered, and it has some very severe consequences towards those who the narcissist either intends to be a victim or sometimes doesn't intend to be a victim. Let me tell you about a situation I saw recently on an airplane. So we had all just boarded and sat down and fastened our seatbelts and the flight attendant came to our section of the plane and made an announcement and she said, everyone please listen up. Someone has a very severe peanut allergy in this zone of the plane. Please do not eat or consume anything that has peanuts or peanut products in it. If you want to eat peanuts, you must go to the front of the plane or all the way to the back of the plane, but you cannot eat them in this zone right here. So everyone heard it, everyone was in agreement. You know, it appeared that she was looking at everyone's face. So I don't think anyone was asleep or distracted by headphones or anything. So good enough, fair enough. Two hour flight, right? An hour and 45 minutes into the flight, we're almost to our destination. The person who had the peanut allergy says, hey guys, is someone eating peanuts? She told you not to eat peanuts. So I was asleep, so I perk up out of my sleep to see what's going on. I'm looking around, I don't see anyone eating peanuts, then all of a sudden, I smell it. Then the person next to me smells it. And I was like, wow, someone is actually really eating peanuts. I can't believe it. So no one said anything, the, the guilty party didn't say anything. And a few minutes later, the girl speaks up again. She goes, guys, someone has a peanut allergy. Are you serious right now? Are you really eating peanuts right now? The guilty party said nothing, did nothing, said nothing. So finally the girl gets up and goes to the flight attendant and told the flight attendant someone is over here eating peanuts. The flight attendant gets up row by row until she finally finds the woman eating peanuts. And she says, ma'am, excuse me, I made a very clear announcement at the start of this flight. You can't have peanuts right now. Someone has a very severe peanut allergy. And I guess the woman was like, oh, 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 okay. And then finally put her peanuts away. So you know me, you know who I am, you know how I am. I was livid. I was furious for this poor girl. I actually reached into my bag and gave her some Claritin because I heard her say, and I don't even have it. She said it under her breath, but she said, and I don't even have any Benadryl. So she needed something to counteract the effects of these peanuts. And all I could sit there and think to myself was, that's a narcissist, a couple rows up, whoever she is, that's a pure, purebred narcissist. Because I already know what was going through her little narc brain. And it goes a little something like this. I paid for my seat on this flight and I'm hungry. And I want these peanuts and I paid for these peanuts. So I'm gonna eat my peanuts and I don't care what anyone has to say. I paid for these peanuts, it's a free country. I purchased this seat and I'm gonna eat my peanuts. And so she did. Not realizing that there are some people with peanut allergies so severe, it can actually kill them. And to not only do it, but you did it in a situation where the poor girl was trapped. Like she couldn't get up and leave and go to another room or go to another building or whatever. She couldn't leave. And you sat up there and ate peanuts anyway, knowing that someone has a severe peanut allergy. I would imagine that the narcissist took it even further to say, well, she's not eating the peanuts. Not realizing, again, that some people's allergies and sensitivities are so sensitive they can't even smell it. I remember I worked in a building where they had signs posted everywhere in the kitchen and they had signs posted as soon as you got off the elevator that said, do not consume any seafood products on this floor. Do not heat them up in the microwave. Don't bring them cold. Don't consume seafood products on this floor. Someone has a severe seafood allergy, right? And for the most part, I don't think we ever had any incidents. I don't recall anyone ever actually heating up seafood, which I mean, thank God. I just could not believe that after this flight attendant sat there and made such a crisp clear announcement before the flight took off that this person felt so entitled to their peanuts that they went for them anyway not realizing or excuse me realizing that someone had a severe peanut allergy so before we got off the plane i went up to the girl and i said if i were you i would press charges i would press attempted murder charges on that lady because that's what that was that was attempted murder because we don't know how severe her allergy was it was severe enough for the flight attendant to make an announcement 
she could have actually caused severe damage and harm to that young woman, but she didn't care because all that mattered to her is that she wanted her peanuts and she wanted them right then in that moment. But this is what narcissists do. They don't care about you. They don't care about your body. And like I've said before, they're really all murderers. They just don't have the courage to kill. So they try to find other little ways to kill you. So they obviously engage in a variety of different behaviors that kill your soul over time, but then they'll actually also do things to your body. The other part of this is that narcissists don't believe you when you tell them what's going on with your body. I came across a really, really good training once and I'm gonna to try to find it because I do believe I saved it, where it was basically saying that all illnesses are not visible and all illnesses are not something that you would necessarily understand unless you were going through it. And I think the example, one of the examples they gave in that training was fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is like a full body pain, ache, it's debilitating, but outward looking in, you can't see it. So a narcissist, if they can't see your suffering, they don't acknowledge it. They don't believe that it's there. So if you tell someone, hey, I have a severe peanut allergy. Could you please not eat peanuts around me? They're gonna eat peanuts just to see if you really do have a severe peanut allergy. It's just been my experience that as soon as you express a biological need to a narcissist, they either ignore it, they try to get you to override it, or they'll compare it to themselves. So they'll say, well, I'm not hot, I'm not cold, I don't smell anything. Whatever it is, they'll immediately invalidate it because they're not experiencing it. That's the cradle of narcissism right there. Their inability to accept that someone is different from them and that it's also true. To a narcissist, if they can't experience it, if they can't feel it, if they can't see it or smell it, it must not be true. It's one of the many functions of the disorder, but it can have very real biological consequences to a person. So anyway, hope you're having a nice weekend. Be careful out there. Be careful if you express needs, biological needs to a narcissist, because it seems to me that as soon as you do, they make whatever the situation is worse um, to make your reaction worse because they really are trying to kill you. They just don't have the courage to do so. Take care, everyone. I hope you're all doing well and I grant you the permission to exist. Bye-bye.